Hey, you ready for our picnic? Well, actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. I heard there are bears around here. Bears? Really? Well, that's what they're saying. And you have to be careful around bears, you know. Uh, you do? Why? Well, yeah. Well, what do bears do? Um, are you kidding? Bear stuff. Oh, well, thanks for the warning. How do I know if I see a bear? You don't know what a bear looks like? Well, no, not really. I've had barely any experience. Cute, really cute. Now pay attention and write this down. Write this down? With what? I'm a fish. Okay, stop. Now, bears have two eyes. Bears have one mouth. Bears have two rounded ears. Okay, I got it. And they have a snout. A snout, got it. And shaggy hair. Good, I got that. Short tails. Uh-huh. And four plantar grade paws with non-retractile claws. What does that mean? I don't know. I was being cute. I got it off the internet. And they have large bodies with stocky legs. So let me see if I've got this right. Bears have two eyes, one snout, rounded ears, shaggy hair, short tails, four paws, and large bodies with stocky legs. That's right, you got it. You know what? What? I think I see a bear. A bear? What? Ah! Well, that leaves more salad for me at the picnic. Oh, did you see the bear? Did anybody see the bear running by? Fish told me that the bear ro ran off. He got scared by his own self. Have you ever heard of anything so silly? Well, and it's really nice to see you again. I'm Miss Heidi from the Toledo Lucas County Public Library, minus one teddy bear, because today is all about teddy bear picnics. That's our story time today. And we are so glad that you are here. We want to welcome everyone. So everybody stand up, caregivers, kids, come on, you can do this. It's 9 a.m., I know it's early, but we've just got to get ready for story time. So let's do our opening song. Here we go. Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me. It's time for story time. Now come on, everybody, we can clap. Let's do it. Come along and clap with me. Clap with me. Clap with me. Come along and clap with me. It's time for story time. What about bouncing? You ready for a little bounce? Let's do it. Come along and bounce with me. Bounce with me. Bounce with me. Come along and bounce with me. It's time for story time. Now I know it is early and it's a Saturday morning, but you know what? We can stretch. Everybody stretch way up high. Come along and stretch with me. Stretch with me. Stretch with me. Come along and stretch with me. It's time for story time. Now a big finish. You ready? Let's everybody jump. Come on. Come along and jump with me. Jump with me. Jump with me. Come along and jump with me. It's time for story time. Good job, everybody. Oh, you did so great. <sighs> Have you ever done the song, If You're Happy and You Know It? We're going to do a variation on that. That means we're gonna try something different. We're gonna do it with bear. Oh my goodness. You wanna try this? I think we should. If you're a bear and you know it, clack your claws. If you're a bear and you know it, clack your claws. 
If you're a bear and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're a bear and you know it, clack your claws. If you're a bear and you know it, gnash your teeth. If you're a bear and you know it, gnash your teeth. If you're a bear and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're a bear and you know it, gnash your teeth. Clack your claws. If you're a bear and you know it, stomp the ground like a big bear. If you're a bear and you know it, stomp the ground. If you're a bear and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're a bear and you know it, stomp the ground. No, gnash your teeth. Clap your claws. If you're a bear and you know it, eat your berries. Eat your berries. Oh my goodness, that was so many berries. If you're a bear and you know it, eat your berries. I'm like a bear, I love berries. If you're a bear and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're a bear and you know it, eat your berries. Stomp the ground, gnash your teeth, clack your claws. If you're a bear and you know it, give a growl. Oh my. If you're a bear and you know it, give a growl. If you're a bear and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're a bear and you know it, give a growl. Eat your berries. Stomp the ground. Gnash your teeth. Clack your claws. Give a really big teddy bear growl. Oh my. Maybe that's what the bear was running away from. I don't know. You guys did a great job. Great bears. Well, we have one more song to do before we get ready for our story. So everybody, if you want to take a seat, if you want to keep standing for one more time, you know this one, open, shut them. Let's do it together. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Yeah, that was little. It's Saturday morning. Come on, you can do better than that. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them. Creep them up to your chin. Open up your mouths wide like a big bear. Ah! But don't put them in. Don't put your hands in there. You'll clip your claws off. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a really big, big teddy bear picnic clap today. Yay! Open, shut them, open, shut them. Shh. Put them in your lap. Everybody have a seat, have a seat. So that was great, everybody. You did a great job of singing and dancing. But now it's time for our book today. And this is Bruce's Big Fun Day. This is by Ryan T. Higgins, and we're very grateful to Mr. Higgins for giving us permission to read this book along with Disney Worldwide Publishing. But do you notice something different about this book? It's a little smaller than the books you've seen before, maybe in the last few story times we've done. It's called an easy reader. It's an easy reader, you say. Well, I'm gonna tell you. An easy reader has smaller or shorter words, sh smaller or shorter sentences, and sometimes even chapters. This is to help you get ready with your reading as you're getting towards kindergarten and preschool and into first grade. So these are really nice caregivers to use for just short little times when you have not a lot of time to read. If you like to do just short little chapters at bedtime, maybe one chapter or two chapters a night, these are kind of fun. And again, they're very engaging. This is Bruce's Big Fun Day. Chapter one, a bear and a mouse. There's the bear. There's the mouse. This is Bruce. Bruce is a bear. Bruce is a grumpy bear. Uh-oh. And this is Nibs. Nibs is a mouse with a hat. Oh, I like hats. Do you like to wear hats? I love to wear hats. Nibs does not want Bruce to be grumpy. Nibs wants Bruce to be happy. See, he's helping him be happy, right? <clears throat> Nibs plans a big fun day to cheer Bruce up. 
but Bruce does not like big fun days. They make him grumpy. Chapter two, the morning. Oh, do you see that? A stack of pancakes with butter and syrup on them. Mmm, wonder what's gonna happen. It is Monday morning. Bruce does not like mornings. Bruce does not like Mondays. Oh, see, he's thinking about it. He kind of, he kind of thinks maybe it's a lot of work on Mondays. Wake up, Bruce. I made you breakfast in bed, said Nibs. Oh, look how nice. He made him pancakes. It's right there on his head and I Oh, no. Bruce does not like breakfast in bed. Oops. Well, it is okay. The rest of the big fun day is sure to get better. Hope so. Pancakes are kind of sticky when they fall down your face. Oh my goodness. Next, they go for a walk. Bruce does not like walks. Well, I wouldn't wonder. Look at that. Poor Bruce is all tuckered out. He's carrying this big backpack with sleeping bags and a fishing pole and a fishing net. Wait a minute, there's even a ladder in there. And what is Nibs carrying? A twig, one little twig. <clears throat> no wonder, that's a lot of work for a poor Bruce. This is a nice spot for a picnic, says Nibs. Whew. Bruce, oh no, does not like picnics. Oh, I wonder why. You see that? Nibs is sitting on top of the picnic basket, eating his sandwich, no problems. No problems because look what's crawling all around, all over the place, even, even on poor Bruce. We're being invaded by ants. Ants in the cookies, ants in the sandwich, in the juice. Oh dear, even in the watermelon. Poor Bruce. Chapter three, the afternoon. Bruce and Nibs go for a boat ride. Um, what's wrong with this boat ride? Oh my goodness, do you see that? I think it's, I think it's kind of one lopsided boat. I think so. All heavy in the back, kind of light in the front. And who's doing all the paddling? Bruce. Well, at least Nibs is trying to navigate, I think. Bruce does not like boat rides. Oh dear, the boat ride is over. It sunk. Oh no, oh dear. But at least they kind of sank close to a little, little island there. And it even has what? Do you see that there? Tire swing? Now it is time for swimming. But Bruce does not like swimming. Bruce does not like tire swings. Oh dear, oh my, it's gonna fall right on his head. Bruce does not like playing in the sand. Well, I wouldn't wonder. Look at that. Nibs made him into a mermaid. Oh dear, Bruce still does not like boat rides. Well, I wouldn't wonder. What's Bruce now? He's the boat. Well, at least Nibs is trying to help, I think. Looks like he's trying to paddle a little bit. Chapter four, the evening. It is getting late. It is time to go home. Will they make it in time for supper? Well, I don't know. Bruce is still the boat. But yes, oh, they make it just in time. And look, they're waiting for him. It is a fancy supper. Bruce does not like fancy suppers. Well, why not? See the geese, they, they're playing music. They have fancy silverware, lots of forks and knives, and some juice and a nice fancy goblet and a tablecloth, even the mice. They're trying to help. They're being the waiters. But do you see, do you see what they have for his fancy dinner? Looks like one piece of lettuce. I don't know, Bruce is kind of big and he worked awfully hard today. I don't know if that's quite enough to eat. 
There is also pie. I made the pie myself, said Nibs. Bruce does not like this pie. Can you see that? I'm not sure I'd like to eat that either. There's, there's bugs in there and worms, some grass. Oh, even his twig that Nibs was using and an old pop can and stinky old tennis shoes. Ew. Chapter five, bedtime. Now it is time for bed. Nibs wants Bruce to read bedtime stories. Bruce does not like reading bedtime stories. Well, how can he read with Nibs right on top of him? He can't see the book. Oh my goodness, oh gracious. The day is over. It is time to sleep. It was a day filled with fun. Bruce does not like fun. Oh, but look how snuggly cuddly they are. Fun makes Bruce grumpy. And Bruce likes being grumpy. Look at that smile on his face, all cuddled in. The end. And again, we want to thank Mr. Ryan T. Higgins for letting us read this story today. Well, wasn't that a great story? Oh, I love that story. Bruce is so silly. Nibs is kind of silly too. I like silly. Let's do one more song. Everybody stand up. Stand up. Oh, do you know this song? A lot of people know this song. I love this song. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Now everybody does a little bit of a different kind of take on it. So just follow me and we'll do it together. Ready? Oh, come on, stand up. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Can you touch the sky on your tippy toes? You can do it. Teddy bear, teddy bear, bend down low. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go to bed. Teddy bear, teddy bear, rest your head. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, shh. Say good night, good night. Good job, good job. Well, we had a lot of words today, didn't we? We did a lot of things. And I asked one of my friends, remember that friend I told you about earlier that likes to send me things and she sends me letters? I asked her to send me three letters today for our teddy bear picnic. One, two, three. Let's see what they are. So our three letters today the first one is the letter B. B, B, B. You make a long line and then you make two humps, one on top of the other. So they all come together into a B. B is for bears mm -hmm. and berries. Remember? Oh, I like berries. That's our first letter. Our second letter today is the letter T. You make a letter in, big long line in the middle of the letter and then cross it at the top, right on top, like a little tower. T, T, T for T. T is for teddy bears. And T is going to be for T because we're going to have T at our teddy bear picnic today. I love tea. Do you like iced tea? I like iced tea in the summer. And our third letter is the letter P. P, P, P. Make a big long line again, like you did at the first for the B, but then just make one hump, just one. If you make two, then that's a B. This is the letter P for picnic. Oh my goodness. We had such a great time today. Didn't you? I did. 
and I want to remind everyone that we based everything we did today on our Every Child Ready to Read skills of talk, sing, read, write, and play. And I have a new song that you can do that will help you remind you of what you need to do with those skills. Want to try it with me? Let's do it. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Do them every day. Good job. I like that song. So that's a good reminder, caregivers, and all the skills that you need to do. Or we can do the song that I introduced you to a while back. Let's try that one. Talking, singing, reading, writing, playing, do them every day. Talking, singing, reading, writing, playing, do them every day. Every day those skills are the most important things you do with your children to get them interested in loving early literacy. I want to say thank you. Fish wants to say thank you too. Don't you? Yes, I do. But I don't think we can have our picnic without Bear. I agree. I think we're going to have to find him. Because you can't have a teddy bear picnic without our teddy bear friend. I don't know. He was running pretty fast. We'll have to see. But I want to say thank you for coming today. Join us next time for another story time here at the Toledo Lucas County Public Library. And I want to give a specific and very grateful shout out to Mr. Eric. He was the one that wrote the Bears puppet show that we did at the beginning. Thank you, Mr. Eric. He's really fun. He does a great job. I want to say thank you with the clap, clap, clap. I want to say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. Turn around one time. Oh, turn around two times. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Turn around three times. Three times? Oh, Miss Heidi, I know. We always bow and we say thank you at the end of our story time. Thank you. And we have wonderful books here at the library. Make sure you check them out for our curbside pickup right now. And wait a minute. Fish, do you see it? I, I think I see bear. Let